everybody, Mr. LEGO Lover 55 here, and welcome to another LEGO set review. Today we're taking a look at another Nexo Knight set. This is the Berserker Bomber. This is set number 72003. It's recommended for ages 8 to 14, and it has around 369 pieces. So this is a 2018 set. Now, I thought this was going to be released in 2018, but apparently it got released November 25th, along with the rest of the first wave of Nexo Knights 2018 sets, which is a bit weird. I don't think it's a Nexo Knights thing that's going on, because it also happened with some other 2018 sets, like it happens with some Technic sets, um, I think a couple of City sets as well. Uh, yeah, just, I don't know, kind of weird that they did that, but uh, oh well. So, uh, this is a $30 set, uh... Here, we'll just take a look at the box, uh, Lego Nexo Knights here. We finally got an actual box art, uh, I guess, corner box art thing here in the corner, which is pretty neat for Nexo Knights, because we haven't exactly got that before. Usually, it would just be the shield, and that's it. Uh, of course, got the actual set here, uh, list of minifigures here at the bottom, set info, one Murloc power included. Um... Uh, pretty much here shows everything that you can do with this set here on the back of the box. Uh, more stuff on the, the Nexo Knights Murloc 2.0 app. And that's pretty much it for the box. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. So to open this thing up, I'm going to go ahead and just take one of these and cut open oops, the, uh, just cut the tape here, just like so. And dump out all of pieces. And everything else. Put the box out to the side. So we got uh, bag number one and bag number two. We've also got a sticker sheet and the instruction manual. So I'm gonna go ahead and build this thing and I'll be right back. So here's the set all built up, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move Macy off to the side here, uh, and we'll go ahead and take a look at the Berserker Bomber first. So this thing is pretty cool. I mean, probably the coolest thing, no doubt about this set, is the color scheme. Green, or green on black, just, it really looks good. It reminds me of some of the old Mars, Mars mission aliens, I guess, so I thought that's, it, that seems like a really cool color scheme, so I'm glad they sort of uh, brought that color scheme into the next night's theme. I think it works really well. Um, so there are quite a lot of play features with this thing, so, uh, probably the obvious one is the, it's a, Berserker, it's called the Berserker Bomber, so it's going to have some way to bomb, so you can see there's these stud shooters here, and the way you activate those is you turn this uh, shield piece, this Kopaka shield piece in dark bluish gray, and then the studs just come flying out. I'm not going to fire them all off, because pretty much you guys, I'm sure, know how those work, so I'm just going to go place that as back, and of course, when you fire off these stud shooters, uh, the studs go everywhere, and they're very easy to lose. And you get two of these stud shooters, too, so one on each side, so that's pretty neat as well. Um, now, along with that, you can have it be a bomber and have the studs just go down, aim, I guess, aim downwards. Or you can angle them like this, so that they're um, facing forward, and you can actually shoot at another flying enemy like that, so... Uh, pretty neat idea that they did that. You could also uh, not just angle it like that, you could also angle it up like this, which looks really cool. So I'm very glad that they added the option to uh, change the angle of those wings. Looks uh, adds a lot of, uh, you can get a lot of cool poses out of that. Um, opening cockpit right here with a minifigure inside. Let's go ahead and take him out so you can take a look at what's look like in there. You've got some stickers there for controls. Uh, this is a really cool cockpit piece. I'm not sure if that's appeared in any other set before 2018 sets at all. I'm not, I can't exactly remember, but it's a cool looking windshield. And it also comes in some trans orange colors, I know, in a couple other Nexo Knight sets. Um, you've got some places here for minifigure accessories. So you've got uh, this uh, sword thing for the guy I just took out. You've also got this spear for another minifigure in this set, which we'll take a look at later. You've also got a place to hold this uh, shield with a Nexa power there. And we've also, this is sort of a weird thing, but it shows that you can take this, it shows on the box that you can take this guy off, and he's supposed to be his own flying little, I guess, maybe like a scout or something, which I think is a pretty neat idea. Just honestly, though, 
that looks really creepy. It, uh, if you just look at that eye print, that just looks really creepy. Uh, yeah, that's pretty creepy. <laughs> it's kind of a neat print, I guess. Uh, but yeah, we can turn this thing around, and uh, it, has, it gives you a nice place to hold this place, so you can swoosh it around if you want, like that. Uh, so you've also got some stud shooters here, which those fire the tech critters, uh, just like that. And now one thing I like about the uh, stud shooters and the tech critters is that when you shoot them, there's a good chance that they're going to land uh, right... Uh, I guess sort of upright like this, so that's something I really do like about that. Uh, but yeah, you get uh, in total you get uh, whoops, that one fell on the floor. Uh, in total, you get three of these little tech critter things, which I think are pretty cool pieces. However, uh, comparing them to how they look on the box art um, in the corner with Monstrux, uh, I don't think these are too accurate. But I think they did a pretty good job with uh, trying to do. Trying to, I guess, mimic that look. Uh, they did add a lot of cool details there for the legs. You can see there's sort of the layering of metal there. And then I also do like how they did the green stud. I feel like I wish there was a little, uh, I wish there was less gaps here in the middle, but uh, I feel like that's something they couldn't have, av they uh, tried to avoid, but they couldn't fully avoid. But uh, yeah. Now, this thing has a secret that wasn't exactly featured on the front of the box, but on the back of the box it was. Uh, there's a mech. There's a whole battlesuit mech in this set, which I think is really cool. And this is also where that other minifigure I was talking about was hiding. So, uh, the stud shooters that were on here that were firing off the tech critters were actually the ones here on this mech. Uh, they were just angled so that they were sort of like that, I guess. But, uh, yeah, so let me just, you can put these tech critters back on. And something I really do like about the tech critters is that when you have them on here, they sort of look like their hands a little bit, like their fingers there, which looks pretty neat. I really do like how they, I'm not sure if that was intentional or not, but uh, whether it was, it still looks really cool. Um... And, uh, so you can open up, so it's just a regular battlesuit cockpit, I guess, sort of, uh, except it has a custom sort of built front parts to front cockpit, I guess, so here's the minifigure I was talking about, we'll look at him later, uh, but yeah, just use the standard battlesuit design, uh, you can just close that up like that, I really do like this Nexo Knight's, uh, shield piece in that color, looks really cool, um, this is the back. Now, as you can see, it has one of these things, so I'm sure if you get some of the other Nexo Knight sets, you'll be able to put stuff on top of this and combine things. So, if you maybe you can get uh, other the next some other of the next some uh, some other Nexo Knight vehicles, and maybe you can like when you connect them, they can like infect it or something like that. I'm not exactly too sure, but uh, yeah, this is a really cool little mech that I'm glad that they added just adds a whole lot more play value, and it's always nice when they surprise us with something like that. It's pretty hidden as well. Um, but other than that, there's not too much else. I really do like these 2x2 two two, uh, jung trans-jungle grain, as I call them, bricks. Uh, I think those are a really nice addition. I'm not sure if we really get too many of those in other sets or not, but uh, those are nice to get in that color. Um, there are quite a lot of stickers on this thing, but it isn't too big of a deal. I honestly think they add to it. Uh, these uh, stickers here look pretty cool. Those are actually kind of funny. Those look like on and off buttons, which is pretty funny, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at my computer. That's the same, I guess, on symbol uh, that it has here. So that's pretty funny, I guess. You have to press that button to get the maybe jets to start or something. But... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the Berserker Bomber here, so let's go ahead and take a look at the minifigures. So the first minifigure we'll be taking a look at here is Macy in her 2018 night suit. So this looks pretty cool, I guess, but the one problem I have with it is that it is really, really clunky. There's a ton of s stuff here uh, added to Macy, mainly this jetpack thing, so I honestly don't exactly like this jetpack too much. I understand why they added it so that Macy is able to fly and actually battle the Berserker Bomber, but honestly, 
Uh, this really is kind of good just for mainly for the pieces. I don't exactly like the build. It's only connected by two studs, so it can come off easily. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I honestly think Macy looks better without the jetpack. The jetpack's too much, I guess. Um, so, uh, there's a new color scheme, um, that's being added to the Nexo Knight night suits, uh, and that is gold. So, this is a interesting, I guess, choice. Uh, uh, I honestly really do like it. I think it works well with Macy here, the red and the gold. Kind of reminds me of Tahu Uniter, who had a case of... Uh, having a lot of gold, uh, but uh, yeah, so uh, I think the mace actually is really cool, actually, I think the way they designed that is just really cool, it just looks very round, which is uh, really good to see, uh, I've got that 2017 spear tip piece there, once again, making a return here in 2018, well, it's not 2018 yet, but this is a 2018 set, uh, here's one of the new Murloc powers, now, uh, Currently, at the time I'm recording this video, the update for this isn't even out, so I, I tried scanning it, and it didn't work, so I don't know, maybe by the time this video comes out, is, that is public, maybe the update will be out, but the time I'm recording this video, it is not out, but uh, once it is out, you guys can scan this here, this is Mace of Murloc, uh, I believe, and one thing I really do like about this Nexo Power is that it's not... The color of it is not in a pearl gold, it's in this painted uh, sort of gold, and it's really shiny, which I really do like. Very, very shiny. Uh, but uh, let me go ahead and take off some of Macy's armor here. Uh, you can see we've got this new armor piece there, which looks pretty cool. Uh, here's the rest of the minifigure. You can get a better look at the torso print there on the front and the back. There's Macy's alternate face. Nothing, no new... Uh, face expressions, unfortunately, which is kind of sad, because I believe 2018 might be the last year of Nexonites. Usually, LEGO's uh, themes will run for about three years, and then they'll decide if it's worth continuing or not. But, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it here for Macy, so let's go ahead and take a look at the other figures. The next minifigure we have here is named Berserker, so I guess he's sort of the pilot of the Berserker bomber, I'm assuming. Now, something that's interesting about him compared to the other, I guess, uh, minifigure, villain minifigures is that he has this headpiece uh, sort of, I guess, backwards. It sort of looks like he's wearing a VR headset almost, which is pretty cool, I guess. Uh, let me just keep focusing there. So he's also carrying a Nexo shield, I guess, or something like that. It's a new mold, I believe, for this, uh, for the 2018 set, so that's pretty cool to get. Uh, he's also got this cool sword, which, there's also these new pieces, which I forgot to mention. Those are sort of, I guess, the, uh, they're supposed to be sort of like this spear tip piece in Trans Orange, but I guess sort of, I guess, infected, almost, I'm assuming. But, uh, yeah, those look pretty cool in that color. Um, let me just go ahead and take off some of this, uh, extra stuff here. So, here is the minifigure, a little bit better. You can see that's how it is. Uh, so if I take that off, that's what his face print looks like, and it looks honestly pretty creepy. Uh, he's also got this new sort of, come on, let me get this off. He's got this new, I guess, chest plate piece or something like that. Uh, so yeah. Uh, now the box or in the instructions show him to be wearing it like this, but if you want to, you can have him wear it like that if you want. Uh, he does have an alternate face, uh, and it's this, which looks really, really cool. I honestly really do like this face print. This really looks like sort of an alien type of face print, which is really cool. Really do like that. You can also get it, see a bit, get a better look at that back printing as well. And I think that's pretty much it here for the Berserker. The next and final minifigure we have here is named Mechabiter. And this name fits him pretty well because he is, I guess, the pilot for, or operator of the small little battlesuit mech that's included in this set. So I think that name is very fitting for this guy. So he's got some really cool, uh, I guess, uh, torso and leg printing here on the front. And he's also got some pretty cool back printing as well there. Um, so, uh, here's a good look. He's, he's carrying a very, just, simple spear. Nothing too special, but here's a better look at his face print without that helmet on. So, it, it honestly looks like these are tech-infected vampires or something like that, so I really do like that idea. I think it looks pretty cool. Not sure about the vampires part, but the whole 
alien looking tech infected design honestly just really works with me. Uh, that's a look at his back printing, looks pretty cool. Now the one problem I have with these uh, these helmets um, is that uh, when you have when this so when you have this face at the front and you're doing it like this, then the alternate face tends to leak through like that, which is sort of a problem. Usually that would be fixed with the chest armor piece, but uh, it's not included on this figure, so that's sort of a problem with some of these uh, figures. So that's just one problem I have, but as long as you don't look at it, it's not that big of a deal. Um, but anyways, that's pretty much it here for the Mechabiter, so let's go ahead and take a quick look at the instructions. So here's the instruction manual for this thing. It's your typical $30, uh, I guess, set instruction size. So here on the front shows that you should organize your pieces according to the numbered bag. Uh, and instructions, 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 uh, final product, good old list of pieces. More pieces, uh, advertisement for the LEGO Life app, um, advertisement for some of the other Nexonite 2018 sets. Uh, I did get two other sets uh, besides this one. Um, I want to get the Hover Jouster or whatever it is. I honestly don't know what that's called. Uh, I didn't see it available at the LEGO store. I think it's like a Toys R Us exclusive or something, which I don't like. I haven't seen it on the Shop at Home website, though, so I want to get it soon, hopefully. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, thing about the game, uh, the Murloc powers, I want to know how those work, but I do not, because the app, app update is not out yet, hopefully it'll come out soon, um, and that's pretty much it for the instructions, so let's go ahead and move on to the end of the video. So, before going over my final thoughts on this set, we can take a look at some of the extra pieces included in this set, so here is, whoops, some of the extra pieces here. Uh, probably some of the interesting ones are this new piece here in Trans Jungle Green, as I call it. Uh, we also get a one by one, uh, a one by one pearl gold hollow stud, which is pretty nice. Uh, pretty much all the other stuff is just, I guess, okay stuff to get. Then we've got some more extra pieces here. So yeah. Uh, it's once again nice to get some more of these uh, trans neon orange spear tip pieces that were released this year in 2017. Uh, and then there's not really a whole lot else that's interesting here. Uh, but that's pretty much it for extra pieces. So overall, this is a really good set, to be honest. Uh, I really do like how they include the mech. That is something I was not expecting at all until I looked at the back of the box. So very glad that <laughs> they included that. Um, and I'm sure, I, I believe, maybe, I think... I'm thinking maybe the little Monstrux hologram spider thing from the Tech Wizard Showdown sh set. Uh, I think that might be able to go onto here. I looked at it a little bit. Uh, so we'll just have to wait and see until I open up that set. But uh, yeah, uh, I really just, uh, the minifigure selection I think is pretty great as well. Uh, Jetpack on Macy don't exactly really like. I think it's a bit clunky. However, I understand why they added it. Um, I wish I knew what the Murloc powers did, but uh, don't exactly know yet. I'm not exactly sure. They released the sets, but they did not release the update yet, so kind of strange, I guess. Maybe it's because the people who make the app or update it uh, didn't expect these sets to come out so soon. Maybe that's the reason. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so... Uh, I don't know. There isn't a whole lot of cool new Nexo powers besides that Murloc power. The only other Nexo power in the set is... Orbital Strike, which I, for I forgot to mention the name of, and I'm not actually sure if I showed it to you guys very well, so here, if you want to scan that, go ahead and do that right now. But that's not a new power. We got that uh, uh, several times last year. I think we got in, like a battle, a cheap $10 battle suit set actually last year, so yeah, I'm... Um, not no new Nexo powers really. Um, I don't think they're making any of new Nexo powers besides the Murloc powers this year, actually, which is quite interesting. I mean, but they'll probably make uh, more Nexo powers like in the TV show. But as for the sets, I don't think they're making any more new ones besides Murloc powers. But so uh, that's okay. Uh, the tech critters are pretty cool. I really do like those. Those are neat looking, but a little bit. I don't know. They don't look very accurate to how they look here in the box corner, but they still look okay for what they are. Um, to be honest, I think this is just, like, a really good starter pack, I guess. It's a nice $30 starter pack. Like, if you only plan on getting one Nexonite set, uh, I would probably recommend it 
or at least one new Next Night 2018 set, I would recommend getting this one, because this one is really cool. The ship is really cool. The mech is pretty neat as well. Uh, Macy's Jetpack is not so great, but the minifigure is pretty cool, and all the minifigures are pretty cool in this set. Um, the pieces also is really cool, and of course, probably the best part about this set is, in my opinion, it's the color scheme. But, uh, I honestly don't really have a whole lot else to say, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and keep building!